So I'm still pretty sad, but now we are saved up for four months and we'll be able to pay our bills and eat food and buy gas. It's going to be like way better than last time. <laughs> and I know wherever this winding road takes me is exactly where I want to be. in its history has always been a fringe art. It's always been something that lies around the outside edges of society. And it's always been a place where people who don't have a place can find some camaraderie. The best summary I can use to describe the Circus Project is a nonprofit organization that's committed to providing high quality circus training to anyone who desires it, regardless of financial situation, social situation, etc. We were actually founded by a woman who is a circus performer and a social worker, specifically to work with homeless youth. They were obligated to search for housing, obligated to search for jobs, obligated to go to group therapy, and what she saw over those, those first few years was incredible transformation that circus training gave them um, discipline and dedication and self-awareness and self-love and self-care that they didn't have before, and it was like this incredible tool. A lot of times, particularly with hom homeless youth, um, the only real thing they seem to need is something that they, they care about, and um, circus is a really unique thing like that. It's really accessible, it really celebrates uniqueness. And for a lot of people that we've worked with, it seems like they come, they find that they like the circus, and that you can only get better at it if you take it seriously. No one can give you circus skills, and so if you decide that it's something you want, you have to work at it, and then that kind of provides a nice rooted position to kind of organize the rest of your life around. So with that, a positive experience, we then expand our programs and we now have three main branches of programming. We have a performance troupe, that's a um, professional circus company. We put on original shows and we also do events and um, special engagements for hire. And then we also have our academy, which is the classes you guys were seeing today. It's open to anyone who wants to come take them. And we also have scholarship students. We have classes for kids, teens, adults in aerial equipment. And we also do acrobatics classes, contortions classes. But then we also, our third part of our umbrella is our, um, our social outreach programs, where we use this idea of social circus, which is the idea that you can use circus arts and the fun and unique nature of them to engage with communities that maybe don't have a lot of opportunities. In particular, we try to serve at-risk youth and use circus as kind of a catalyst to help them figure out how to organize their life. One of my particular passions is teaching teenagers in part because a lot of teenage girls are in this point where they're like don't know who they are and they're not very confident in themselves. And so coming in here and working on something that's really hard and unusual and getting those little successes. So we're just building and building and building. So I've watched girls come in that are kind of, you know, standing like this and not really talking too much to like standing tall and proud and they're strong and they're able to like look you in the eye and say their name and then do this fabulous piece. Circus arts lend themselves to all sorts of lessons, not just the skills you learn to do a circus act. 
um, we find that students really learn trust and they learn camaraderie and they learn respect for themselves and others. I've learned a lot of like self limits, like keep pushing yourself, like no matter how hard it is, just keep trying. Cause like uh, you saw me like earlier, like I couldn't get some stuff, so I just I had to keep going and doing. I would also say that I've learned to trust myself a lot more. Um, it's sort of really fun and terrifying when you're doing one of the drops because you really have to trust yourself to catch yourself, especially in some of the saltos. I just want to be able to do whatever I want to do with my body. So it's like I was moving furniture the other day and I was like, wow, I'm really strong, like much stronger than I used to be. I want to be able to hike and climb and be able to do whatever I want at a moment's notice because I'll have the strength and the flexibility and endurance to do it. And that's why I love Ariel because it helps me build that. How's it going? It's really hard. <laughs> <laughs> Very hard. <laughs> I think that the most powerful and most frequent life skill that I see from circus arts is dedication and resilience in that circus training is a very tangible lived experience of trying to achieve a goal that you can't do when you first try and you're living that experience of trying again and examining what you just did and working hard and maybe doing some pull-ups and then eventually being able to achieve a goal. And for people who, who have had difficult lives or just have, ha have a hard time with self-actualization, that experience is so powerful to be able to hand them that. And over the course of even one class or over a semester, watching them watch themselves learn and grow is incredibly powerful. And because circus arts are physically difficult, that they are hard, you see an incredible awareness of continuing to struggle in the face of challenge and not giving up in the face of difficulty. Another thing our students really learn is confidence. Um, you know, if you start out and you walk into the gym and you see people doing things, you're going, oh, I can't ever do that. But you know, you start out small and you learn a, a somersault or a forward roll. And you're like, oh, I can do that. So it builds up a little bit of confidence for you to say, oh, maybe I can try something a little bit harder. And so you learn a flip. And then maybe at some point you gain confidence to try new things in general. And so rather than just saying, I'm willing to try this new move, you say, well, I'm willing to try you know, this new thing in my life that's come along that's not got anything to do with circus, but all of a sudden you've learned that you're capable and that you can take risks that are worth taking and that you can trust yourself to succeed and have that confidence in your own abilities to know that if I can hang from the ceiling with one hand on a silk, that I could probably do a lot of things in life. The circus project is great. I love it here. Everyone, the, the teachers are amazing. Everyone's very kind and friendly and helpful. Everyone's you know, willing to spot you or to help you learn a new trick. It's just a great environment. I think the circus scene in general is very fun and creative and encouraging and inspiring. So it's, it's a great hobby. I love it. It's just an amazing program. I just, I love it. It's, such a, it's like even though like we don't know each other, we just come together and make just kind of a big family. We believe in circuits. We believe in art as a powerful social tool in and of itself. That like beautiful theater can can be touching and can generally make change. Uh, and we're excited to see how contemporary circus is evolving in the states and and want to be. Want to, want to help create and move forward that conversation. The Circus Project is a growing organization, you know, just like any good arts program, it's a living, breathing thing. So where we are today is not where we're going to be tomorrow, it's not where we're going to be five years down the road. There's a lot of uh, growth in the future for the Circus Project. We love our space here, but we'd love to have more of it so we can have more students, and we think that that's in our future for sure. It's only a matter of time before life begins. Talk to a stranger and suddenly you're friends You take your first step and now you're halfway to the end Before you even learn to break or bend Breathing in and breathing out, let's feel alive Isn't that the definition of life? It's 
It's our infinity and it might be small But I'd rather have this than nothing at all A year might pass in a second And a moment might last a year And that's when I start to wonder How time has tricked us How time has tricked us here